Welcome back. We're all spending more time at home these days. Uh-huh. And starting today, we're going to kick off a month-long series to help you spruce up your surroundings. Every week, local HGTV star Heather Fox will give us useful tips uh, that you can use in your house. And today, it's all about dry flowers. Here's Kendall at the Foxwell store in Edina. Here with what I've been calling Help Me Heather, Heather Fox, doing us all these interior design inspos all month long at Foxwell. And this is the thing right now. Teach me about dry flowers. Okay, it's big. It is. Okay, so dry florals are huge, huge, huge this year. So even though it's kind of thought of as a fall thing, right? It's been all year round, and I think it's going to continue. So invest in some pretty dry florals now, and they're going to last you for, I mean, really forever. They're, right. They're dead. What are they going to do? <laughs> That's so Just fun. dust them, and you're good. I love that, and I think it, it really will hold over into everything too. So if you set this up. This is great. So it's easiest to masterclass. Exactly. So this one, this is real simple. This is this for the is, basic lady and all of us. Yes, this is just sticks. I mean, <laughs> come on. But how cool does that look? Imagine that on a mantle. If you had a taller vase on a oh, floor yeah. in front of a fireplace. Oh, I it's love that. It's such a cool look, right? And I just love these. So and just simple. Shoved in there, really. They're just shoved in there. Oh, this is for Easy. all my basic ladies out here. Love it. Easy okay. peasy. Next up, okay, step two. This one, a little more complicated as we have two <laughs> kinds of dried florals. We start with a vase. This is sold in a bundle, this grass. Oh, nice. The grass goes in. The hardest part is making sure it fits. <laughs> and then you have these little guys. You have to cut them to the right size and then just kind of stick them in. Key again, cutting to the right height. You don't want these to be the same height. You want them to you know, be a little bit shorter. So cutting these off and just kind of playing with what the height should be. Okay, and how cool is this? I mean, done. This is for our let's try it mediumers. Still simple though. This okay. is really just three different bundles all put together. So this is one bundle of grass, one bundle of these little dudes, one thing of this, which is baby's breath. I was like, is that baby's it breath? It is, it's coming back. <laughs> oh I my love goodness. it coming back. That's so awesome. And the cool thing about baby's breath is it's actually really easy to dry on your own too. So if you buy some live stuff, you have it, you know, sitting in your dining room, it looks all cool. I actually, I really do like baby's breath. And then yeah. as it dries out, it's I mean, cute. yeah, you're, you're set. I think this is another case of like having the right vase. This would mm -hmm. also look cool in a clear vase, but like having it in the gold and then having these colors pop through, that, that's what kind of creates this whole look. Um, and then to the more complicated. Okay, this is our master class. Yes. <laughs> so master class <laughs> could also be called the odds and ends because all of these were like little extra guys that we had laying around from other projects that we put together. So this is like what you do with the leftovers. So you have a Ooh. bunch of like, you, you've made some other ones and yeah. you have just a few extras. You just kind of throw them in here. I like that. The one thing I really love about this is the palm leaf. I think oh this my is gosh. kind of a cool little guy. Mm -hmm. He just adds a little bit of like drama in the back. He's like, hi, Flair. Um, and then all of these, I mean, it's just like a few grasses, a few little sticks of this. And I think this is like trial and error. You know, you mm -hmm. kind of put things together, see how, you, how they feel, what you think of them, take things away. So it's a lot of editing. And then yeah. also uh, these guys, I think it's kind of figuring out that they're the right height. So maybe starting with longer, cause you can always go shorter. It's hard to right. get taller. That pompous grass is like what everybody has right now. Yes. And I use it at my house and it got everywhere. Oh, it is so trick. messy. <laughs> okay, my trick. Yeah, you have to just like shake, shake it, it like crazy. Outside, not inside. Right. And then you take hairspray. Spray it with hairspray and that's gonna lock it in so it's not gonna all fall. See, look at hardly falling. Oh my goodness. If I had only known this like a week ago. Dried florals, everybody. Cyclical. Everything that's in fashion eventually mm -hmm. comes back. Always. Uh, my mother used to have in the 80s in a corner these giant feather things that looked like droppings from a peacock. And they just they were huge, just giant fern things yeah. that looked like that. Yep. But they were messy and they would, they would drop things. No one ever thought of spraying some aquanet on there. I know. That was like the biggest tip was with the pompous grass because it's really big right now. Everybody uses it. And it Why gets do I love everywhere. when you say pompous grass? That's right. <laughs> it just gets everywhere. Find it the, the very conceited table in the cafeteria. Basically. Yes. Well, Betsy has pompous grass. And what we talked a lot about with that was just the hardest part is actually just getting it in the vase. And so if you make the whole arrangement in your hand and plunk it in, 
then it's a lot easier. I, I don't know if you've tried to do these. They can, it's kind of hard to make them look pretty like that. Yeah, I did some on Saturday. It didn't turn out well. Did you really? No, I didn't. I no, I, I, no. No. Again, okay. I go against the stereotype on that. I, okay. I, I can't dance and I don't arrange flowers well. Well, it does, it, it is nice. It adds a lot of color and you can do it obviously into the winter season she talked about too. But that was one of my big tips. Did you see that was on a, like, credenza? Yeah. But let's be clear, we're never going to make it as beautiful as Heather Fox. You know, know. no matter how we arrange, it's never going to look that cool. I know. I'll just, that's why you just go to. Go to Heather. You go to Fox House or Foxwell, Fox House. Go to Foxwell. Foxwell. Mm -hmm. Go in there and be like, Heather, Aquanet me some ferns, yeah. you know? Right. So she, well, we did this and then she also showed me how to arrange a table, um, like a, a table for a living room table. Uh, we talked about a credenza. We talked about how you can arrange that to make it pretty or a bar. So there's a lot of stuff coming up this month that and, we'll be talking about. And by the way, if you're uh, playing our drinking game with us, you've now drank three times with the word credenza right there. That's well, our magic word today. Do you remember today. why? Yeah, I know what it. I'm. I actually, my mother had a credenza. I know. We and talk I don't. I still this. don't know what it is. See, that's it's a why. cabinet, right? It's a. Yeah. It's some sort of. Hold on a minute. Hey Siri, what's the definition of credenza? Oh my goodness. Hey Siri, what's the definition of credenza? Credenza means a sideboard or cupboard. A sideboard or cupboard? Well, I mean, you could have it in the dining room, the living room, the office. Hey Siri, that was awful. <laughs> oh. oh, she just wrote, I'm sorry. <laughs> she literally did write, I'm sorry. I'm so sorry, Jason. She's shamed. I know. It's all right, Siri. Hey Siri, tell us a joke. A clown held the door for me today. That was a nice jester. For more information <laughs> on Feather's Foxwell shop and studio, check out thefoxwell.com. Did you just say Feather's Foxwell shop? Heather's Foxwell shop. What did I say? Feather. Feathers? Oh. We're talking sorry, about Feathers. Sorry, it's the election, girl. I had Chinese food and I was drinking Jameson with our friend over there. I was like, <laughs> well, Brenda. Brenda and I were having Jameson last night.